Yo, what's good, y'all? It's the and I'm actually recording on the Note 9 right now, so let me know how do I sound and how do I look in this video, right? But today, I'm actually gonna bring you around this daily board update because we got a really, really dope update out here. Like, it's huge. Now, if you don't know what daily board is, basically, it's this pre installed app by Samsung that comes on all the Galaxy tabs, like the Tab S4, the Tab S5e, the Tab S6, the Tab A2020, and I think that's it. And basically, this just turns your Galaxy tab into like, you know, a Google Nest Hub or something like that. So instead of a charger, doing nothing you can just go ahead and let it charge and display all this information for you now like i said today we got a really dope update and i want to go and show you all that because like i said it's huge if you're a galaxy tab owner and you use daily board you're gonna love this all right so let's get into it All right, so I know you noticed this Pogo Dock here if you have a Galaxy Tab here and you're like wondering, like, where'd you get that, Latrell? Well, this is actually the official Samsung Pogo Dock for the Tab S5e and the Tab S6, and there's also one for the Tab S4. That's all you get. There's not one for the Tab S3 or anything. It's just the Tab S4, Tab S5e, slash Tab S6, which is the one right here. But here's the catch. So it's really expensive okay it's like 60 or 70 bucks which is why is it so expensive for a dock like cool samsung logo cool we have metal all right that's nice you can put your tablet on it and then just display all this information like that cool but why official samsung accessories have always been really expensive for like literally no reason but i don't get this one all right so let's go over here to the galaxy store and i'm gonna go ahead and show you the change law so we have memo board with dark mode so memo board is now supporting dark mode with which is cool so the system wide dark mode on here now and then we have some changes with the clock weather and calendar so it says the smooth and sleek looking layout is newly added so yeah we get a way cleaner and way more boss looking ui here so it's looking way more materialistic and way more modern on here you'll see in a minute it just looks dope okay and then it also says the concept of the third watch with a numer for something what what does that say pneumorphism i don't really know what that word is but yeah so design reflecting 2020 trends gives the users more comfortableness with its simple and clear looks so dope and yeah so that's pretty much it so we're actually on the updated version on june 5th 2020 and we actually have version 11.5 all right so that's all cool and everything now let's go and put it on this dock here and it should go ahead and automatically pull up like that but yeah so the tablet 6 is really pretty much the only tablet that got this update because it's on one ui 2.1 and none of these other galaxy tabs are so i got my tab a 2020 over here with the older update because it only has android 9 it doesn't have android 10 yet so i'm gonna go and compare these and i'm gonna go and show you so now let's go and look at some of the new faces is here so let's go and tap on the menu here tap on settings let's go over to time weather and calendar and you can see right here that we got one new layout and that's the one they were pretty much talking about and i gotta tell y'all like i love this layout right here so this is what it looks like it looks way more modern and clean looking and everything with these shadows like it just looks dope okay like you can see right here we have the analog clock with the time and then we got the date and then we also had the the you know the whole thing moving around here so we don't get burned in and it just cycles through the weather and then we also get the date here on this next screen here but one dope thing about this now is that we also get the time in the corner here so basically if it's not showing the time you can still see the time because it didn't used to do that so now i can see it's still 8 44 and then it goes away once it goes back to this time here and yeah so that's pretty much it so let me go and show you what it looks like in dark mode and yeah so that's what it looks like in dark mode sorry it looks so dark because well well yeah it's in dark mode but yeah so that's what we're looking like right there so i guess this new layout here is just the more modern version of this layout right here so if i go and tap on that and go back out of here yeah that's what we look like right there it I, I never liked this i thought it looked ugly to me you just get the time here and everything and you can see right there it goes over here and it yeah you can see over here that it gives you this full screen here with the time and you get the weather and everything so that looks nice and all and everything but the clock just looks ugly i don't like this whole analog thing and everything here like i'm just not a fan of it now let's go and check out on this last layout here that i usually use all the time and we actually got some changes on here so you can see that we got the time here but also when we go to this new screen here where the weather is you can finally see the time in the corner again because you would have to wait until all these screens cycle here until you were able to see the time again when they went back to the time screen so i could see the date right here but i could never see the time before so 
really dope okay and then you can see right there it just disappeared again in the corner because well we're seeing the time already so yeah that's that now if we go over here to the sketchboard here so if we want to go ahead and draw something here that's not new or anything we could always do that and then we can also play this animation here if we want to but now we can go over here and turn on the dark mode and this now has dark mode if i back out of there so cool this never used to have dark mode before but now it does so it's not gonna blind you at night if you had this dock in your kitchen or something like that so now it's going to turn off the dark mode here and then we can also go over here to the last screen and we didn't really get anything new here so i know versatile is that his youtube name i don't really know how to say it versatile latrell is versatile it ain't that hard but i know he did a video on how samsung daily board works and everything like that and he also has this poco doc like he's a big samsung dude i recommend you go ahead and check out his channel too but i know he keeps his doc in his living room because i saw her like his home tour his living room tour whatever that was and then he had this screen up right here but yeah so i know this is what he uses right here and i'm pretty sure this is the same slideshow style that he uses too but yeah the pan and zoom that you already saw was the same we had the same zoom and fade and then the picture mosaic that's also the same this is what i actually use right here so i actually like this one i don't know why but i just like this whole screen here that it goes ahead and just brings you through all these pictures here and then it just goes ahead and chooses one this is the one I use in my room. So now let's go ahead and pull up the music here. And then we'll go ahead and see if anything changed there. So let's go and play some Pop Smoke here. Rest in peace, Pop Smoke. And yeah, you can see right here that we have the same music and everything here. Nothing changed there. We can go ahead and look at our music. And then we also have the time here at the top. Thank God. But Samsung, you are killing me with this. The same thing on the lock screen. We don't have any type of music scrub run here like we now do in the new Android 10 update and the notifications. So Samsung, yeah, you're really killing me with this. I don't know why like you can't just put a music scrubber in here like that would be really nice. Samsung, just do it. But yeah, so just like the other screens, the music here just moves around the screen so you don't get burned in. I think you'll go ahead and see it here in a minute. So yeah, you can see it right there, it just moved around there. Now, I'm not 100% sure if all these elements here at the top move around so you don't get burning on them either, but somebody told me that they do move around, so I'm gonna just take them on their word on that. And then the same thing here for like the slideshow button and then the clock and yeah, all that stuff moves around. But yeah, so pretty much nothing changed here with the music besides just the time at the top. And then we have the same old brightness gestures right there, like we don't have any new gestures or anything here. Like going left and right, obviously that just changes the screens, you can't just, you know, turn up the volume or something. But yeah y'all, so that's pretty much what we get with the new daily board update. So if I go ahead and pause this music and scoot this over here and pull out my tab A, you can see right here that if I go over here to the menu, let's go to the settings, go over here to time, weather, and calendar, these are the only two layouts that we get. So if I go over here to the clock here, I'll go ahead and show y'all what I was talking about. So we go ahead and see the time right here. And then we'll go ahead and cycle here to this weather. And yeah, so you can see right there, we're on the weather now. We don't get a time here at the corner. So we wouldn't know what time it is until we get back to the time, which was really annoying. And also another thing that I noticed is, well, let me go ahead and get this back to the weather. We had a refresh button here for the weather, but now on a new update, we don't have that. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys can see this right here. There's no refresh button like we do here on the older update. But y'all, so that's pretty much where I'm going to be going ahead and cutting it. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, go and give this video a like. And if you really liked it, go and subscribe. But go and follow me on my social media, at Centec on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Now, Instagram and Twitter is where I'm most active. And no snap, I just saw something else different. We're just going with the flow, folks. Something I really hate to see. So basically you see right here where this auto start button is i can go ahead and tap on that and then we have a new option here and this is on my tab s5e e, so this also has an older update but basically what happens here is when you go ahead and put your tab s6 or tab s5e e, or whatever you have when you go ahead and put it on the pogo charging dock it basically goes ahead and auto unlocks your tablet for you so you don't have to go ahead and put in your pen and all that or your fingerprint or face or however you set it up but now in the new update we don't have that option here so if i go and tap on auto start it just turns it on and off. Oh, that's so disappointing because I love that feature right there. Why you got to do me like that, Samsung? Because I'll go ahead and show y'all this right here. So let me go and turn this off and then I'll go ahead and put it back here in the dock. You'll see right here, it'll unlock for me right here. So let me go and tap on OK and there we go. It's unlocked. Now let me do this with the Tab S6 here. And uh, let's see. Uh, nope. Oh man, I hate that. Wow, okay then. So that's gonna be really annoying. I don't like that. But yeah, so that's a new update for y'all. But I'm gonna go and get out of here. So thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one. And
Peace out.